Yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, we had a bit of a ceremony last night for because there were seven of us, so presenting seven individual caps on the morning of day one would take a bit of time. So we did it last night, um, and that was really special. Um, I think I think I'm the twenty second Irish player to play Test cricket for Ireland, but I'm something like the seven hundredth, seven hundred and sixth player to play for Ireland overall. So. Um, that's a very special um, achievement and we're a very lucky group of players to be playing Test cricket but um, yeah it was, a, it was a, an amazing feeling to be out playing Test cricket for my country, yeah, it was awesome. Uh, coming to today, uh, was there any nerves for all of your debutants uh, at the start of the game? Um, I wasn't as nervous as I thought I'd be. Um, certainly more nervous when I was making my one day in T20 debuts, I think, because I hadn't played as much international cricket, but played a good bit now and sort of have a rough idea of what I'm trying to do. So um, I wasn't as nervous, thankfully, today as, as my other debuts. But um, yeah, you always get nervous. You always want to do well. But no, it was uh, more excited than, than nerves. How, how about the innings? I mean, uh, you scored a 50 in a very difficult situation. You had a 74. Curtis, uh, tell us about the innings and how you felt throughout that. Yeah, I felt, felt pretty good for pretty much all of it until I got out. Um, just sort of a poor decision um, in the shot I played, not so much, you know, it was a decent ball, but I think if I go to defend that, it probably doesn't get me out. So um, certainly a lot of learning to do, I think, across the board. Um, but yeah, I thought... When me and Curtis were going there, we put on a good partnership and was certainly thinking that we could build and put up a, a good total and we probably were a bit shy of where we want to be with, with, uh, with the bat. Um, about your innings, uh, how different was it from scoring a 50 say in a T20 or a one-day Yeah, it's very different. I think it's, in one sense, it's a lot easier because there's a lot more gaps. So you can just like hit the ball and it goes away for four. But then also there's a lot more challenges, different fields, slips, the ball does a bit more. So um, I think that was only my 11th first class game, my first, my first first class game in two years. And I'd only played one first class game in the last three or four years. So it certainly takes a big adjustment for a lot of us to shift back into red ball cricket and um, try and not hit like the ball that loops up trying not trying to not hit that for six is quite a challenge you know because you're you're trained to do that because we played so much t20 in one day cricket so that takes a big shift in mindset and you know we just have to sort of learn from today um, and try and try and get better with the amount of test cricket that we have coming up the last ball wicket uh, how important was that and how exciting was that yeah it's huge it was unbelievable um, I think it definitely makes the day a bit more even. Um, I think we were definitely shy with the bat um, by a little bit, but you know, getting two wickets tonight is, is huge and it gives us a lot of momentum going into tomorrow. And I think that dismissal in particular, the, the way the ball spat with that spin, it, it's, it's a good sign for us, um, particularly with Bangladesh having it to bat last on this wicket, hopefully. So, um, yeah, it was amazing. After you and uh, Curtis were out, obviously, um yeah, it's, it's huge. It's huge. You need, I think, in these conditions in particular, you need your, your lower order to be able to put on runs. Um, I, think, I think the big challenge out here um, is trying to not lose those wicks and clusters. I think we lost two for three, or three for two, or whatever. Um, which obviously you can't really afford to do. You know, we've built quite a nice partnership and then to go bang, bang, bang sort of kills you a bit. So um, that's something we'll learn from, but the guys certainly did really well. Sparky and Lorcan, Scry in particular, they all batted really nicely coming in, nice and positive, played the shots. So it was, it was excellent. Casual taking five weeks in the first innings, it'll be just as tough in the second, I presume? Yeah, I think so. I think that wicket's only going to spin more and more. Um, but yeah, that's that's something that we're going to have to deal with. I think going forward, we're going to face a lot of spin over the next three tests. So um, yeah, it's going to be a good challenge. He's a very good bowler, and 
and Mehdi and Shakib aren't aren't much uh, aren't much worse either. So um, yeah, it's it's going to be a real challenge for us, but um, certainly one we're looking forward to. Looking forward to yourself the ball wheel on that tip, probably. Yeah, might 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 get a bowl now. Yeah, jeez. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I guess I probably will. The amount of left-handers that they that they have, I probably will get a bowl. Um, but yeah, just try and do my best. See how it goes. Um, not necessarily. I think he, I think he, Tyjal is picked as their main left-arm spinner. That certainly looks that way. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's a world-class bowler. So um, any time he doesn't bowl, I think is maybe a little bit of a surprise. But I'm sure he had his reasons for it. And, um, you know, we certainly don't take him lightly when he comes on. He's world class. Uh, the team has some uh, I think spin was the main threat. Yeah, I think. Uh, I think everyone thought it would do a little bit more than it did this morning. Um, it certainly looked like there would be a bit of assistance for the seamers, but didn't really offer that after the new ball so um, maybe later on if it, if it reverses or something but I didn't think when I was batting out there that seam was the one that was going to be the real threat it felt like spin was the one that was going to get me out. You picked Tamim in the last over of the game. Do you think that that keeps you in a better mental space when you come out tomorrow? Absolutely, absolutely. It's great momentum for us um, to get a wicket on the last ball. Everyone's up and about, um, and it means we have someone, a new batter on zero in the morning. Um, so that's really exciting, and yeah, it's 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 huge for us as a group to, to get such a quality player at last ball is, is awesome. Thank you. Sorry. Sure. Good. Thank you.